I am uh, going to bake cornbread today. Uh, and this is the Senior Mama Show, and I'm, you're listening to me and watching me on KUAW Radio. And you can get me on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, all the ones that they have uh, that you can get on. I don't know them all. Uh, I'm not up to date on all of them. But uh, there are several of them you can watch this on. But I just wanted to start it out today with baking cornbread because I'm getting ready for the holiday season. And so the first thing uh, I'm going to put in my bowl is a bag of Angel Mama uh, Self Rising White Cornmeal Mix. I'm going to put the whole bag in it because this is what I'm going to make my dressing with. And uh, also I'm going to put a cup of, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to stretch it because I'm going to make quite a bit of dressing. Uh, I'm making it for a couple of families. So, uh, this way, if they want to, they can see how to make some good cornbread. So, I'm going to put the bag of uh, of self-rising cornmeal, and this one it just say enrich uh, cornmeal. It doesn't say. Uh, let me see. It asks for baking soda, so instead of putting baking soda, I'm gonna put a teaspoon of uh, baking powder. I use baking powder. Now I'm going to put in my eggs. Guess I need to get a spoon out of here. But I had it put together. All right, got my baking powder, and now I'm going to. Put in my eggs. All right, this big bowl. I'm gonna go ahead and add six eggs in this bread. Make sure I'm getting my uh, shells and the egg. I'm gonna get my cornmeal. Throwing the egg shell way over it in the trash, and I just put it in here because I'm going to put that in the trash because it's going to be empty. Okay, we got six eggs added in the cornmeal. I'm gonna preheat my oven also, turn it on, get it started 350 degrees. And now I'm going to see how much buttermilk I'm going to be adding. I'm going to do this twice. I'm making this batch of cornmeal and then I'm going to turn around and make another batch. So I can make sure I have enough cornbread for my dressing and then have some left over for just to eat with greens or beans or whatever I decide to cook. Well, I bought two of these, so I got plenty of buttermilk. Oh, 
Okay. Yeah. So this is a quart. So I already had used a little bit out of that quart. So it's almost a quarter of a buttermilk I done put in here. I think I'll just get some hot water. And this is my purified water that I go buy at natural groceries. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to add some, I don't know, cooking oil. Got to get the lumps out. Six eggs, a teaspoon, I had the self-rising, self-rising flour, I already have bacon powder and all that in it, but when I added this other cornmeal, a cup of it, two cups of it, that's why I add the bacon powder. Now, I think what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put some olive oil in my cornbread and I'm going to put the Crisco in the bottom of the skillet. I got a big cast iron skillet that I'm using to bake my cornbread in and this is what I use when I'm baking, when I'm cooking dressing is I always use just big cast iron that's how I know how much dressing and like I said, I'm going to do this twice. Okay, and you know what? It could have been I used those six eggs. They was a different brand of eggs. I buy my uh, eggs at Costco. The cage was a uh, got what they. Oh, I'm gonna have to look and see. 
the cage free, I think that's what they call cage free eggs. They look like they are a little bit yellow, yellow than the ones that the best buy have. So those two look like it gave me a good deal of color. I'm going to put it in the cast iron skillet for about a couple of hours. And then I'll bring it back out. So, since I'm on the clock, what I'm going to do is put this in the cup and put it in the microwave. All right, I know how to get it ready. going in the microwave so Okay, this is my parish line skillet, and I got all of this. can get all of this in this skillet either because I don't think I put half this much in my bowl before. Oh, I can. It'll work. It'll work. It'll work. Just uh, let it stay in the oven and make sure it's done all the way through.
Oh. <laughs> okay. Brain freeze. Okay. All right, I got it all ready to go in the oven. Oven has been preheated. Didn't have to, but that's what I did. Uh, uh. Okay. Now, that was the first batch. So, uh, I'm going to turn my camera off and let that, my cornbread, cook. And I'll make the next batch and just put it to the side until I have to use the same skillet. Uh, I only have one big skillet like that. So, My present cornbread for my dressing. I will do one more thing of that, and that's good. 